What's going on guys? Back again with another YouTube video. This one's going to be about so you want to know the best, most efficient way to spend your hard-earned cash in Diablo Immortal. I do not promote spending, but if you do want to spend in Diablo Immortal and you want your best bang, how to min-max everything and get that resonance up and become a whale, these are some tips and tricks that I used in my journey, my mistakes that I've made to actually get you the best bang for your buck. So the first thing is this $15,000 eternal orb pack cannot be gotten on mobile. It cannot be gotten through the game. You have to own a device that can actually buy this pack. And I'm going to be very transparent with you. This pack is $200. But I've done tests where I am a Platinum Plus member on Google Play. It nets you about 1,000 to 2,000 orbs less going through that and getting the play points and building your play points up and then buying stuff through the app, through your phone. Now, Apple, I'm not sure about their Apple program. I think it's very, very similar. I think it's 1.75 times whatever you spend but your best bang for your buck is on the battle.net launcher it is a 200 dollars pack for 15,000 eternal orbs and so if you were to buy 15,000 orbs through the store let's see 15,000 100 gets you 7200 so that's going to give you uh, let's see, I got my little calculator here. Times two. That's going to get you 14,400 orbs. So it's going to net you pretty much 700 orbs less. Now, that doesn't seem like a lot. But when you buy and you want to whale out, it is a huge, it is about uh, five or six crests you get extra off of that. Let's see, it's what, 160, right? Oops, sorry. It is 160. So let's go ahead and minus 15,000 divided by 160. That's going to net you 3.75 crest. And let's say you were to buy, for example, you really want to weigh a lot. You buy, for example, 10 of those packs. That's 37.5 orbs. That is pretty much almost 14 crests you get off of just 10 of those packs. So you add that up. Let's say you're a big whale. That's 300. Right? Is that right? Will that be right? 3.75. Let's say over your span of existence of playing this game, you buy 100 of those packs. That's 375 orbs. Crests. 375 crests that you miss out on. That is almost, that is insane. That's wild. That is 37 tank crests you're missing out on right there. So yeah, that is your best bang for your butt when it comes to that. Another good value is you do not have to purchase this at first. This is a very, this is probably the best thing if you want to run tank crests. So you do not have to wait to max, like, to get this on the first day. Wait for this to max out. You'll get it before 36 days ends. Like I said, this just started, and we're almost halfway through right now. So you let this finish, you don't even, and you get, what is that, a bunch of orbs, 1,280 orbs and 12 crests. So you get a 10 crest of the bound, and you get pretty much a, a 10 crest run from that. <clears throat> All right, as well as I'm going to tell you to stay away from these bundles like this, okay? These eternal crests are great. This is great. You get 780, but I'd rather have a gem that I can put on the market because how I look at it is, let's say I want to I wanna rank a, a, uh, a bottled hope up, you know? Let's say I don't pull a bottled hope from the orange crest. I'm I'm screwed. I can't do anything with this. It's 32 gem power. Unless I want to use that gem. Now, if I pull anything else besides a bottled hope, all right, that's going to go towards 
I can put it on the market, and boom, you sell it. Now, here comes the big kicker. If you pull like a four out of five or any five out of five, that just that just blows your two hundred dollars you just spent out of the water because now you're getting unless it's like a Howlers or a Zwensons, depending on what serving you're on. If you pull like a five out of five bottle of whole BSC, a new Roiling, a new CP, a Mall, a Void Spark, you're getting six hundred and forty thousand platinum. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you to stay away from these orange crests. Save up your money. Uh, if you feel like, oh, I want to spend 13 here and want to spend this here, don't. Put it in an account. Put it on a card. Save up. Save up for the 200. You know what I mean? Um, I am a blue collar worker. I grind concrete for a living. Uh, it is possible I make I make good money, but I do have sacrifices that I make when I want to buy crest. Plan stuff out to buy your crest. So these bundles are, you know. This is the only one I would suggest buying if you are going to do it is the moguls because of the, the, the telluric pearls. If you are ranking a gem up, you get like what, 30 of these. I can't see it right now, but this is your best bang for your buck. After you get 40 telluric pearls, you craft any, you craft any legendary five-star gem of two-star quality. That is your best bang for your buck when it comes to these and these keys also are amazing so i'm going to tell you a secret on these one star gems uh they do not get what's called strifed in battlegrounds like your five out of five legendaries or even your two star gems your one star gems do not get penalized or in the game's turn strifed so if you want to whale out and go for residence because you want to push your server, because server PvP, nothing is nothing is you know, taken away, penalized. Nothing is striked. So, you know, that's what I spend my money for is my server PvP. Battlegrounds are great. Okay, but you're going to get dinged. All right? So, let's see. As you see, I'm 8508 residence. And then... My secondaries right now, this is in my PvP setup. I'm sitting on 6253 armor pin. Okay, your gems only push you so far because there is always going to be a shortage on the market depending where you are. As you can see, citrines and sapphires are gone. Tourmalines are actually gone now. So, uh, rubies are there. You might pick up an aquamarine here and there, a topaz here and there, but your armor pin... And your potency, your two offensive gems on your secondaries are going to be gone. So what do you do? You run this little thing right here called Ivan Fods are your legacy of the Harajim. This is very important, okay? Save up 377 keys um, each, each time you do run it. Every day you can run it. Your first one's free. And you get enough from your health trader, these keys. You get enough, you know, from your, let's say, this is the general if you're not immortal. You get five of them here. You do your daily task for days, you can get them. Um, where else do you get these from? Where else can you get these from? If you ever want to know where you get them from, you can click here, get more. You can get from the health trader. The battlegrounds, which are very important, I went over this before, and your Ibn Fods drop them when you're in there running it. The reason why you need to do battlegrounds, don't be afraid to. You're gonna, if you haven't done it before, or if you're not good at it, you will not be very, very good. But you don't need to shy away from it because this is where you get your keys, even on just the regular ranks. So every time you rank up to a legend, you get the keys. As well as you get the bonus reward. So right now I am getting sitting in gold three, 48 normal gems. Now they split these up into your, you know, evenly into categories. And when you hit legend, you get 66. If you hit top 50 on your server, you get, look at that, 74. You get 80. If you are number one in your class, you gain 84 of these. Okay. So it's not just resonance that make you a whale. Your secondary stats, which if you want to find them, you click on this little button down here. You can't see it because I'm covering it up, but it's pretty much, you see my cursor? Down there, the little guy brings up your stats. And if you want to increase this, these are your secondaries. Your gems only push you so far. 
So a way to get that up is to, you know, run your Ivans and then as well as just do your layers every week. Cap, cap, cap your layers. It can make you a platinum on it and everything like that. Now, pets are another thing you can get. As you can see, I do have a little bit of experience on pets, okay? This is for a separate video. I'm going to go on. Um, you can make really good platinum, or you can lose a lot of platinum. But I found a way that works really good for me. That's going to be in the next video that I make is going to go over pets and what traits and what, you know, passes go over and a way you can get them. But a very easy way to actually make good platinum on pets and not like go broke. All right. So let's go over what I, uh, how I can maximize money that I spend on the game because my money is very valuable. Uh, get you a device that can get on the battle.net explorer and buy the path. Um, let's see here. Let's see if I can actually pull it up for you here. Let's uh, go to this. All right, we can. All right, so when you're in your when you're in your launcher, okay, this is the Diablo Mortal homepage. It's right here, as you can see. This is the two hundred dollar pack you can buy for fifteen, you know, for for two hundred bucks, fifteen thousand orbs. This is your best bang for your buck. Like I said, you don't want to buy any of this. Not in the game. I don't know why they don't put it through mobile. Hopefully they will. People have been begging them to. But this is your best bet. So go ahead and buy this. Save up your money. Don't be buying these orange crests. Like I said, if you pull something bound like a 5 out of 5, you're stuck with that. Now you have to upgrade that. And that's a whole nother whatever. All right? So your second step is to, you know, buy the Prodigy's Path after you get it maxed. So after you get it to the point where it's maxed out, you don't have to buy it right away. You just wait for it to get down here, and that way you have all these 10 crests you can run for 20 bucks. I believe it's like 20 run, like uh, two 10 crests, and then a bunch of keys, as you can see, which are really, really nice. That'll help your secondaries out as well. Um, and then you know, just focus on the gems you want. Run your rifts, the purple crest, they'll always be sellable. There's a thing called a pity drop as well. Every 50 crests, that is 510 crests that you run, all right, they're going to get a pity drop, a random five-star gem, two out of five. It's going to be your best bet. And if you want to maximize and you're really patient, you wait for new gems to come out, but it's really hard to actually wait for the gems to come out. Sorry about that. I was on Blake's screen for a little bit. It's really hard to wait for the damn gems to drop okay this double one right here because of course these are sold for 64k platinum immediately any two star three stars sell for 93k as you can see and five stars go for max if you pull a four star wait for this to go down you can or you can post it for a little bit less than what they have let's say 220 240 people will just eat it up and buy it um, but yeah, that is, uh, ways that if you are going to spend your money, um, like I said, I don't condone spending on the game, but then again, you know, I have, um, quite a bit. Uh, this is just from a big spinner's perspective that I've been through, you know, burning gems, uh, replacing gems, focus on the ones that you want. If you want to be a low spender, your two five stars, I recommend getting a new RC, and the blood soaked jade and then just go with a one star two star gem uh, but those two are the hardest to get but like i said running the purple crest whatever gem you get anything you get from there will go you can put it on the market and go towards whatever gems you want to buy whatever gems you need so uh, hopefully this video will help you maximize your time and your money in diablo mortal as well um guys tune into the live stream on twitch i will be running uh these last orbs that i have 94 crests they're gonna be so i'm gonna do nine ten crest runs and uh you know try and get the rolling consequence for the last one and another thing is join a warband please um join a warband so you can get your two i think it's three 
two legendary crests of the week, a purple one and an orange one. Warbands are really great. Uh, a lot of people don't know the benefits you get from it. You get CR, you get everything. Um, but that's a whole nother conversation. If you guys want to go over, you want me to go over that, that's awesome. Uh, but this is just to maximize your money in Diablo Immortal. So hopefully this helps you guys out. Um, and until the next one, uh, come over to Twitch at Greed Gaming 1984. We're going to be running these live on stream. I won't do them right away. It'll be probably around 9 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard. Uh, so go ahead. Give your boy a follow, a like if you uh, if you want to support the channel. And, um, you know, just trying to put out good content for you guys. Trying to maximize your money. Because like I said, everyone's money is very valuable. Even if you're a millionaire all the way down to someone like me, a blue collar worker. So until the next one, I catch you guys later. Peace.